Hello YouTube. Uh, orchids, orchids are great, but I decided we need to do a project with you because we all like making it pretty. You know me, I do my pottery, but pottery sometimes is not enough. You need your hanging areas, you need, um, you know, something different, maybe for inside if you have a, a like a screen porch, stuff like that. So. I decided to do something and I want to share it with you so let's go and see what I have on my little mind <laughs> let's go so what am I trying to do I got you need a piece of wood you can go and get whatever piece of wood you want this is just a regular board from Home Depot I got the big one and I cut it couple of pieces I on purpose found wood that has texture look at this isn't that an ostrich can you see my ostrich <laughs> cool so uh, it has good texture and uh, we're gonna go from there so what am I what's the plan which can you do this is my paint stain slash uh, glaze bar, all you can stain right here. So I'm going to play with it because I don't even know where I'm going with this. But what is the plan? I'm going to pre-treat the wood. I know it's not always necessary, they say. So I'm talking about this. Uh, I'll do it because I have it and then I'm gonna do all kinds of colors now as you can see if you go and buy it and you want different colors it will cost you lots of money but every Home Depot or kind of paint store has that little shelf of paints or pre-ordered stuff that was returned people didn't like it so that's where you get this one is wood stain was five bucks it's kind of still expensive but today i just got this bear paint for two bucks and it's a very nice lavender color so we need to prep our wood and then we go from there what do you need you need a piece of wood you need hangers I got these I got heavy duty uh, because I'm gonna be uh, hanging plants so they may get heavy uh, and then you're gonna need one of these things which is called a planter or a flower pot hanger bracket you can find them in different sizes this is for the six inch pot so we need wood we need these things uh, and they come with all the you know bolts and screws and nuts in there already we got this I also have all the stuff I it's in the package and after I'm done with this, I'm going to decorate it. Now that's where me coming in with my favorite stuff. What are we going to use? Oh, we're going to use all of it. All of my pretty hearts and stuff like that. These were my testers. Butterflies, driftwood. You can use shells. You can use... Uh, like sea stars and stuff like that starfish I mean and uh, whatever your heart desire but let's start with staining you also want to maybe work these edges so you don't have splinters and stuff get a really 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 heavy sandpaper this is grid 50 this is one of those um, it was like a belt for the machine but I I don't have a machine I'm gonna use my 
girl power, which is ostrich. Hilarious. Okay, let's get to work. Enough talking. So, like you can see, this edge is really yucky. If you don't take care of it, it's going to be a problem. We're just going to use a really, really rough sanding paper. And I'm showing this for my girls. The girls that think only boys can do everything. No, they don't. So, girls, let's do this thingy. Boys, we're proud of you. So be proud of us. So I'll do it a little bit more, but just to take that splinter edge off, okay? And so for now, I did three colors with just a stain. So don't get discouraged, like this gray looks pretty yucky right now. But there's my friend Ostrich in there, if you can see. But uh, ooh, a little thunder. Uh, I'm gonna add lots of stuff to it. A little paint touch here and there. <clears throat> I have lots of stuff to do. Uh, I did attach the hanging thingies. That's what I call them. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they lo totally look like hanging thingies. And before I usually start making lots of things, I make one just to see if it will fit and work the way I planned. So, so I attached one of those uh, pot holders to an existing board that is finished with the uh, what are they called for real cold hanger so hanging thingy it is and then i attached this um special pot holder i got them on amazon i got the one that is a little bit cuter than the regular one they came with the stuff to put them in the wall so my board don't mind my beautiful fingers I don't wear gloves ever for paint I'm like that so I had to find a different option which I had it was just the smaller ones and here it is for now and a trial my friend Stephanie recently gave me a little um, piece of her plant and it's in a six inch pot. What am I planning on doing? What else? I think it's fine the way it is right now, but of course I'm not gonna stop there. What am I gonna do? Okay, there's lots of options. This is just like a touch of gold here and there. Uh, and then, you know, I have kind of unlimited pottery supply. So, a while ago I was doing wind chimes. I used to have a store. So, you know, I can go and just add some. That will not look good. You know, what I can find. Uh, add shells to it, add, uh, you know, if you have nice beads, you can do it. You can add some kind of wood. I'm talking driftwood, some sticks, you know, those look really nice. Shells. What I was thinking with this gray one, it's kind of looked very said I would touch it with gold then I would wax it with the uh, antique look wax also you can get it everywhere wax is very addictive and then and then 
I made these things just recently. I would just add white. I need to work on it and just leave it the way it is. And I think that will look pretty cool, simple and cool. But this is a working progress, like I said. Um, see here. These will look really good. Plus, I have a couple of pieces cooking in my kiln over there. And let me go get my hands on it. And I will show you a couple of... I don't have a driftwood in here, but I have driftwood inside, lots of driftwood. Basically, whatever you have, beads will work, you know, whatever you, you can get, um, I actually do have it, hold on. You can get the stencil, this stencil actually may work really well for one of these plaques. I still have untouched plaques that I can, you know, paint any color I want. And maybe I'll do one. I have, it's not white, it's kind of off-white. It's called fresh linen. And then I could do the lavender stencil. Welcome, pineapple. And, you know, I could add something if I want. But generally speaking, you know, it's just whatever you have and whatever you want to invest in it i do have unlimited <laughs> supplies because i've been always uh artsy crazy so let's see what i can come up with okay here is my florida and so what can you do after you stained, you can use whatever color you want. Right now it looks really crazy, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take sanding, sandpaper, okay? And I'm gonna rough it here and there. You, I'm not gonna tell you what kind of sanding paper to choose. I like the roughest one. And you just, you got to try it. Once you try it, you're going to be hooked. And it looks really cool. And again, when you start doing it, don't get discouraged if you think it looks awful. Because you're going to take some wax. And wax does magic. So... This is dedicated to one local team. We'll see <laughs> what I'll figure out with those colors. But let me put my both hands on it and show you the so basically. You want to see the texture of wood if uh, if you want it to be uh, dramatic different and stuff like that where's my brush it's my brush I just love cleaning in between this is a grid 50 but like I said if you try you'll figure it out what's the best one for you how much damages would you like to make <laughs> I like it pretty roughed up And in my experience, you can get these, but they are not. I prefer to grab a slice piece, whatever you want to call it, of. Um, here I am. Just a sheet of flat paper. I'd really recommend to do more on the corners. Maybe not all of them, but at least, like for me, 
here kind of frames it for you. So, yeah, you got the picture, all right? Once you start doing it, you will go with the flow. And then again, you really think it looks like one big nothing, don't stop, keep going, because there's always a wax, magical wax, that will do magic, okay? Ah, it's hot. <laughs> okay, what's next? So, next, I personally love this stuff. You can get it, I got it at uh, Hobby Lobby, I know, uh, probably Home Depot also has it. I love gold, so I'm gonna add a little touch of it on this particular piece. Uh, the other is not necessarily will get it, but let's see how it looks and what it does. So you basically follow the directions. This one I never even opened. It says, this is called a wax metallic finish, uh, and this one is antique gold, so it will not give me that. Okay, you are very, very liquidy. And so you're gonna just here, there, everywhere, just, and that's where you can do the corners. know how it opens it has this liquid it should not be that liquidy okay and then again if you think that you put too much you can always scrub it off with the with the sandpaper or or put another layer of paint on it. Okay. So, and now, again, on the top of it, I want a little bit of a... You want the perfect imperfection. That's what you want. Okay, so, more or less, I'm not gonna... I just don't like this. This is like obvious pain stroke here. So you want it to look like it's been done a gazillion years ago. And it's been chipping, falling off, kind of so impossible to make any kind of damages there. So, okay. And in the meantime, it got gold plated. So. <laughs> Yeah, sounds like my life, exactly. I even bought the lottery tickets like four times. And what do you think? Out of 20 bucks we spent, we won five bucks. Martha was very excited. <laughs> okay, what's next? Next and final uh, to kind of seal it is the uh, wax. So I have two and I like both of them. One is pretty innocent, that's is called the clear one. So it basically will give you the look that you have right now. But if you're more adventurous, I would go with the dark antique. And let me show you what I will do. So all the instructions that you'll always see, this is an open antique wax, so will tell you to use a soft cloth or something. I. Uh, I'm using a uh, regular, a good type, you know, uh, what is it called? Help me, paper towels. Yeah, so because the, the, the old t-shirt is great. So if you're doing it and you're not sure about it, of course go light. Okay, like I said, definitely the perimeter needs to be addressed and then as you go you will see that and what I'm doing right now is not going to be the color because the wax will really 
go in, dry out, and then again. And you can do, depends on how much you want, like I want this to be a little more dramatic, so. I am such a art project freak. If I had the time, I probably, that's what I would, would have done. So, let me turn this camera to the another angle. So, as you can see, that's what we've got. The plan is, I'm not done, <laughs> to add some clay pieces to it. I already have my back all set. I need to sand this side so it doesn't look like it was just freshly touched. And then I'll go and do the magic on uh, other pieces. This one is finally dry. So, and I'll show you the next step. so far so good so three um, of course gonna make more but I think I gave you an idea you can just paint it attach uh, the holder to it and you're all good to go just make sure when you start painting and everything attach the hooks first okay the hanging thingies the hangers <laughs> okay so now I'm gonna play with all kinds of decorations uh, like I said you can use whatever you have you can use driftwood you can use beads you can do paper just with the paper it has to be probably not a good idea maybe plasticky type of you know um, art supply stuff or something I have quite a few things to attach look at my angel yeah so let me dive into that talk to you soon and so far these are all the de designs i mean the painting part of it that i've made i really like this and i'm gonna sit down with my pile of my goodies and make I use the stencil, needs a little work. Uh, I'm gonna add, you know, some on the top, some uh, pretty stuff, which of course will contain orchids, butterflies, and all that good stuff. And I'll show you the final product. Stay tuned. And so I'm done. I made 12 of these. See here I used the uh, driftwood, the little orchid that I made with the clay. Uh, so this one has a little bunny. Oh, there's storm in the background. Just eight and all kinds of stuff. So this i like this one a lot so it's just a plain white clay on the contrast with that dark burgundy there comes storm <laughs> it's probably gonna join us 
the sun I went a little bit like a sea life driftwood shells there's a little choya there and again a little clay piece that I made so you guys whatever you know you cannot make these clay butterflies you can go and get some I'm sure at the there she is at the hobby stores Michaels will have lots of buttons maybe by the way could be a great idea to do buttons then this one is also with clay pieces that I collected over time and well, I have one more here this one is a little uh, lavender very quiet piece and so uh, let's see how will it look if we put the plant into it uh, these holders are made for six inch pot okay so we're gonna use the model right here from brethren orchids let me stick it in i had to get the model mm -hmm. to hold it for you you will attach it to the wall and boom right yeah let's Here's do my real face. there here's her real face yeah. okay you got it now okay let's do one more why don't you put that down over there no let's do something okay. this one now open that the ring hold it tight boom how cool is this where's your real face there there Casey and didn't so know the superstar you have it my face. yes the superstar simple to the point so the whole project is not that hard it's you know I went a little overboard it doesn't have to be that drastic but you can find I will show you thank you superstar can you take the plant out of it please there we go no we just did one I'll show you this is my old project with buttons who doesn't have buttons okay so i collected all the buttons that i had in the house and i made this little it's a canvas again i painted it green and i just sat there and put them all together and glued them and that's my florida too so i hope you enjoyed it it's one more option of making your orchid girls and boys your orchids look more fabulous than they are so i will be selling these at this event this weekend at ofe you guys hope to see you there there's a pineapple that martha was referring to we have lots of fun we're gonna have lots of fun this weekend and i really really hope to see you there okay say bye bye, bye.